Um, ma'am, I think you're on fire. I doubt that. No, I really think you're on fire. <laughs> I doubt that. Ma'am, seriously, you're actually on fire. Why are you lying to me? I doubt that. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. And today we are checking out Mrs. Doubtfire. This is a movie that I am actually really, really excited for. It's a Robin Williams movie that I just haven't seen for some reason, but it's one that I've really wanted to watch. It's a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. I thought this movie was going to be about 90 minutes long, but it's actually over two hours. So I'm hoping that the comedy doesn't get very stale at all, but I really love Robin Williams comedies, or at least the ones that I have seen of his, where he plays these very comedic roles and so I'm very excited to see how Robin will how Robin Williams portrays Mrs. Doubtfire if he's playing a woman the entire movie or if he's a man pretending to be a maid or a woman or something like that I'm not really sure what the plot of this movie is I'm just excited to see Robin Williams riffing and having a good time and if you would like to check out more of my reactions get over to my patreon of uncut and early access reactions to my movies and tv shows that come out up to three weeks early as well as exclusive patreon live streams merch movie polls movie reactions and so much more thank you so much if you check it out let's get back to the video okay chris columbus directed this movie which is so awesome that guy's directed so many classics it's unbelievable i feel like he's like an underrated director a little bit where he directs all these movies that people knows but no one knows that he directs them in the first place which i think is kind of funny like he did the first two harry potter movies i believe as well like this guy's been around the town if you know what i mean but anyways i hope this is a really fun movie a very enjoyable movie so i hope you enjoy my reaction to miss is Doubtfire. And so for all of you guys on YouTube as well, look, I have my beautiful puppy Huxley. She is right here fast asleep. Very excited to be watching Mrs. Doubtfire today. She's a huge Robin Williams fan. Oh, he's like a voice actor or something. Okay. Salutations. Like. What is this rip off Tom and Jerry? Murder, betrayal, kidnap, no, burn up. Is he actually making all these voices? Afternoon snacks have very few civil liberties, but I'm not wholly without art. He's voicing both characters. My lungs are blackened. Here we go again. Oh, cut, cut, slow cut. Arm Roll it back. <laughs> Stop improving. Very special. Lou, millions of kids see this cartoon. It's like sending each one of them a packet of cigarettes and saying, light up. You exactly. Well, let's ask the technicians. Do you think it's morally right to promote smoking to the youth of America? They all say it. nothing as they smoke cigarettes. And then I've got to do what I've got to do. That's very funny. Where the hell are you going? He's leaving. Peep, 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 peep. Piss off, Lou. <laughs> oh, Robert Williams has so much energy, you know? Music by Howard Shore. Howard Shore only made the greatest score and soundtrack of all time with the three Lord of the Rings movies. It's on your 12th birthday. All right. Got a surprise for you. A stripper? Oh, please. A stripper? Coming up toward the very end now. Here she goes up the very end. And she wins that race. So it seems like Robin Williams is going to be a guy pretending to be a nanny or something. That's going to be really fun. <laughs> this woman's having a horrible time. Better. More arts and crafts, a Dirk Van Erp lamp, a stickly chair. Don't be seduced by chintz. Yeah, don't be seduced by chintz, guys. <laughs> They'll get you. Gloria? Okay, who brought the party? Sorry about this. I'll get back. You ate my begonias. <laughs> that goat is a menace. That goat is chewing up the scenery. Literally. This is a kid's dream to jump around a house like this. This party kind of bops though. I can't lie. Oh, she definitely hates him. Party's over. I wouldn't lie though, I'd be really mad if someone did this to my house. Like someone destroyed my house, like my wife or something destroyed my house without telling me. You used to despise! I spent too much time with you, Daniel! It's over! Oh my it's god. over! Oh, I knew this was gonna happen. But they're gonna get back together at the end of the movie, right? Daniel, our problems would be waiting for us right here when we got back. Who will move. Hopefully our problems won't fall. We'll move somewhere else. We have nothing in common. Oh, sure we do. We love each other. Oh, she doesn't love you. We love each other. 
the slow zoom. I want a divorce. She said the D word. All of that. Yeah, ma. Oh my God, it's this guy. I haven't seen this guy in a movie in so long. I think I saw this guy last in Independence Day. I haven't seen that movie in ages, My marriage is not ending. Be able to do a reaction to that if you guys want. I have seen it before, but eight years ago, seven years ago, six years ago, something like that. Maybe five years ago. Really? I mean, this is this is just a temporary thing. I know Miranda. It's going to blow over. No, it's not going to blow over. In a child's best interest to deprive him or her of an obviously loving father. That's so nice. It is the court's ruling to award sole custody to Mrs. Hillard. Oh, sole custody. Your Honor, please. I mean, every Saturday, it's one day a week. Only one day to see your kids. It's not a question, really. I mean, I have to be with them, sir, please. Why doesn't Miranda do something about this? A joint custody arrangement when we reconvene. Okay, 90 Sorry. days. Is this why he becomes Mrs. Doubtfire, to be with his kids? It's all messed up. This is all my fault. God, no. It was going to happen anyways. I should have never had a birthday, Dad. This never would have happened. I should never have had a birthday. I should never have been born, Dad. <laughs> this wouldn't have happened. We're right in the middle of Charlotte's web. Yeah. Who's gonna finish it? Oh. It's Bart, and she never does her voices. She smells funny, too. <laughs> Your living environment? It's more like a habitat, really. Eh, let's all make jokes here. Friday evenings to inspect it. Well, I'll put on a chicken. <laughs> this woman is no, <laughs> not a hick. <laughs> is not into comedy. We've come to this planet looking for intelligent life. Oops, we made a mistake. We're happy to be in America. Don't ask for a green card. <laughs> Look at me right now, money penny. I want to undo that bow and get to know you. Sean Connery! <laughs> Check out my James Bond reactions on the channel. Watch all of them. Miranda? Stu. Speaking of James Bond. Hello, Miranda. I didn't know Pierce Brosnan was in this movie. Yes. I can't blame her for falling in love with Pierce Brosnan immediately. As you probably know, the estate was built in 1876. Now these sketches. My mind is blown, guys. I've been following your career in the trades these past couple of years. I tufted it so She's like, no, I didn't. Flemish tapestry. I don't care. God, that's so nice. I mean, I was just worried about coming in here. I, I thought I might... This guy's trying to be all silky smooth. Look at him. Ancient history. Yeah. It's kind of like Mamma Mia, you know? <laughs> he used to be in love with this woman. He left, and now he's back in her life. Oh, sweetie. Can't you just tell Mom you're sorry? <laughs> Don't you wish it was that easy? Diarrhea forever. Diarrhea forever. It's enough. Your body dries up and you die. No. You die? <laughs> Why did you say that? Look, Dad. He's just frustrated and angry. <laughs> and right now I feel like a toad. Like, <laughs> He made that was a good toad impression, guys. Uh, that's Mom. No, it's not. Can't be. She's an hour early. Come on, Daddy. We gotta go. Oh, what? Come on, you're on my time now. You're my goddamn kids, too. Wow, this is really tearing everyone. Bring them off. Daniel, I'm really sorry, but I don't have yeah. to do this, all right? I have to go to the bank and the market. I have to drop something no, off. No, but it's not fair for him, you know what I mean? It is not fair for Daniel. This person. $300 a week, is that all right? That's pretty good. Oh, Mom, that'd be great. Please. So look, oh, yeah. the kids yeah. love it. Please. I'll think about it. Oh, come on. It's like she's trying to keep the kids to herself a little bit. For his goddamn kids, too. Oh, oh. Oh my god, I love her so much. Good idea. Right? Oh my god. Oh my god. Hello? Are you calling in response to the ad? I wonder if the kids will realize. Tell me who was your previous employee? That is Daniel. That is his father. I don't work with the males because I used to be one. <laughs> Hello? He's making it seem like there's only creeps out there. Hello? I'm calling in regards to the ad I read in the paper. Oh my god! Oh, but listen to me, I'm going on when you should be telling me about your little ones. The only rational person. <laughs> I thought I gave it to you, dear. No. 
Oh. You didn't think of a name? Oh, lovely dear. Me too. Bye-bye. Ta-ta. You got his name from a newspaper report? That's awesome. <laughs> How does he do these voices, though? How does Robin Williams have such a vocal range? Ready for my close-up, Mr. DeMille. Okay, everyone. Let's pray. Oh, I am so ready for this. The only color I love mm. matches your lips. God bless you. Oh my God. Thanks. Oh, it was such a shand. Oh, we're getting better. We're getting better. Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Find me a fine. I was not expecting a song. Tell me not to live, just sit and putter. Life's candy and the sun's a ball of. Such a masculine looking woman, you know? Older. Older? You mean like uh, Shelly Winters older or Shelly McLean older? What's the difference? I'm thinking Betty White. Be a lady this is how you do face masks, isn't it? Be a lady tonight. Wow, this is cool. I know the way you treated other guys you've been. Oh my god, it's like a superhero getting ready, you know? You'd be mom. <laughs> Show me him. Show me him. Hello, Mrs. Hillard, I presume? He looks so perfect. And who is this strapping young lad? This is Chris. Hello, Christopher. Geesh, you're big for a lady. You could... <laughs> Same way. I'm sure you've got all your homework done already. Well, not exactly. Really? Oh. Oh, I gotta whip him into shape there. And who is this young lady? This is Lydia. This isn't fair, Mom. Why do we need a housekeeper anyway? Yeah, I was gonna say, she's old. I'm sure you normally would encourage the children to step out of the room before you verbally bash their father. If I did that, I might never see them again. <laughs> Oh my day, so awkward. I love how this is their father too. What a lovely home you have. Did you decorate this yourself? Yes, I did. Oh, it reeks of taste. It reeks of taste. I felt like a subtle jab. And Heimlich maneuver, dear. You can never be too prepared when you've got little ones running around. You know? That's actually so fair. My husband never appreciated it. Oh, poor dot. That's not the reason you divorced him, was it? He hated labels, that's why. <laughs> So sad because marriage can be such a bliss. So can divorce. I love like the second layer of his talk. My, you certainly do know your way around the kitchen. Oh. Well, just because it's everything. Yeah, you're fumbling it a little bit. Remind me of someone. Really? Who? <laughs> Maybe we knew each other in another life. <laughs> Isn't it weird how someone can be in like disguise and you can still kind of sense that it's someone else? Start of a business relationship. It may be a full-on relationship in the future if Pierce Brosnan doesn't get in the way. Evening, ma'am. He's in love. I swear that bus driver's in love. Hope you have something nice and warm to go home to. He's definitely flirting. Have we met? No. But Danny's told me all about you. Oh my god, he's keeping up this persona as well. Yeah, that's three floors, hoofing it all the way. You can do it, I can. I'll bet so is your... <laughs> so fair. Uh, it's a little messy right door. now. But he is just moving in, so you gotta give him some time. I just got out of the shower. I think you'll be very pleased with me. I've been through... This is amazing. Yes, I want to keep you abreast of some of the changes in my career. There have been two big developments. I'm <laughs> two big developments abreast the comedy guys. Oh, I'm in great shape now. I'm my own man now. Oh no. Oh no. Job I could really sink my teeth into. I'll be right there, Mr. That is actually terrifying. I don't have to save face anymore, Mr. That's Spider actually terrifying. You have to hide that. If someone sees that, that's so scary. Let me see, my father was an American. He, uh... Flew for the English during the war. This lie is getting so crazy already. <laughs> I would adore a good cup of English tea. Oh no. Oh, wouldn't we all? I'll go get her. Oh no. Oh, singers! Sis, you in here? <laughs> no way, he has to get. No! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> this would be awesome to watch. Mom! <laughs> no! Oh, Norman Bates. <laughs> yeah, he does look like Norman Bates. Yes, dear. I take sugar in my tea. Oh, your tea. Oh. No, the wig. Dear, your tea. 
It's actually not a bad apartment, you know. Just touch it up a little bit, and it's actually a really nice place. Oh, oh, no! Oh, no! Why is that, like, kind of horrifying? Face so good. Miss Helen? Oh, God. Hello! Ah! A face mask. That's actually genius. Creme fraiche, powdered sugar, vanilla, and a little touch of alum. There you go, dear. Oh, oh into the coffee. Papa's got a brand new bag. That's awesome. But it's fine and but it's oh, sorry, man. It's quite alright. Ain't no It's quite alright. <laughs> <laughs> In like a man's voice, that's hilarious. I'm okay. Yeah, but after Dick Van Dyke. No. Dick Van Dyke can wait, kids. Really? Well, not anymore. Oh my god. He's actually making his kids work, you know? Like, this is not homework. <laughs> They're not doing homework. They are just cleaning. Shut up, Liddy. Yeah, you got us into this. Oh, my little anchor. Carrying the kids against each other. Spend your craniums. I miss Dad. Me too. Me most. I'm here, guys. Aww. Okay. I bet Buddy do, does not know how to cook. Oh, damn. Okay, that happens sometimes. You know what? I made pasta the other day, put a little pepper on it, accidentally like opened the side with this giant hole and just poured like a ton, like a mountain of pepper on my pasta. <laughs> it was so sad. Oh God. Oh no. This holiday smells like burnt rubber. Oh no. <coughs> Does this house not have a fire alarm? One thirty-five. That dinner is one thirty for paycheck, though. Again, her. I'm falling into the lie. I am falling into his lie. One third of his paycheck. Dinner is served. Oh my God. Hey, that was a good impression on the kids though, right there. I also wanted to thank you. What? For making my mom so happy. Oh. Aww. I like that Mediterranean looking women. <laughs> oh my days. You are holding up the bus for everyone else. I got peeking there. Oh, he's learning how to cook gourmet meals. Everything's going so well at the moment. Okay. Oh, Pierce Brosnan, get out of here, you punk. Are you serious? Lover boy's here. What a beautiful little car for Don Juan. <laughs> Let's destroy it. Oh, sad when that happened. That's not true. It's like George. Oh, he must be so upset. Oh, this must be the famous Mrs. Doubtfire. It's a pleasure to meet you. I never thought I would see uh, uh, Robin Williams and flippin' James Bond, Pierce Brosnan in the same movie. I have a home in London. I was born there. What part of England are you from? Oh, no. Accent's a little kind of muddled there. Really? So. Well, so is your tan. <laughs> oh, my days. Oh dear, well they say a man who has to buy a big car like that's trying to compensate for smaller <laughs> Dude, that's more of a thick soup than a name, really. <laughs> it's a name. I love just jabbing at stew, man. <laughs> well, he just wants to go out and have a drink, and I think that's pretty harmless, don't you? Well. Wake up and smell the coffee, dear. Can't you see the lust in that man's eyes? The lust. Out of the picture. The only solution is total and lifelong celibacy. <laughs> so extreme. Oh no. Lock the door when you're going pee. Well, Mrs. Doubtfire, he's a she, he's a she, she, he's a she, she. What? He's a she, she. Just relax, please. He's gonna get it in the balls. Yeah. She's got him? 
<laughs> She's got everything. Who you think I am? Yeah, no shit. Watch your mouth, young man. Oh my god. Dad? Yeah. Dad? <laughs> it's not a way of life. It's just a job. I don't go to old lady bars or anything like that after work. <laughs> Dude, I didn't have any operations or anything. Good. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Oh. oh, wait, this is so sweet. I hope they don't tell. Not just yet. It's cool. It's a guy thing. Yeah. It's a guy thing. Yeah, guys, it's a guy thing. <laughs> This is so dull. I should have a little disclaimer that says do not operate heavy machinery while watching this show. <laughs> what kind of idiot kept this guy on the air for 25 years? Oh, it's going to be him. You? Jonathan Lundy. Nice to meet you. Maybe you can get a career in television now, though. This is not my life. <laughs> Hopefully that made some form of impression. I have some woman living with her. Oh, I told her he doesn't even have a sister. Oh my days. Really, really. He's supposed to be older and very unattractive. That's mean. Did you and Mr. Doubtfire ever... You might... I thought she was going to ask if Daniel was sleeping with her. As I hold this cold meat, I'm reminded of Winston. God rest his soul. Why are you reminded of Winston holding cold meat? It was a drink that killed him. How awful. He was an alcoholic. No, he was hit by a Guinness truck. <laughs> so it was quite literally the drink that killed him. <laughs> Why? I was not expecting that. I hope you don't mind me being a tad rude, but how was he? Oh, my days. Like me, I guess. I'm pretty organized and scheduled as well. Different. Spontaneity is not my strong suit. Try to get home early to be with him, something would go wrong. The house would be wrecked and I'd have to clean it up. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. He never knew, but so many nights I just cried myself to sleep. Oh, that makes sense. I didn't want my kids growing up with a mother like that. Dang it, now I know her side and it makes so much sense. I'm sure he's better when he's not with me. Huh. Well, you can say that again, because he's right here. I can see why jokes would become very I'm... not funny if everything was jokey, you know what I mean? Oh, oh my days, this is a fancy pool. Not a single body that exists in nature, look at that. I like that these two kids on the left know that this is their dad now too. Oh dear, oh isn't he a stunning piece of work? <laughs> What the heck? Here's Brosnick and Dive. I don't know about you, but you always feel so sexy when you get out of a pool or like water or something, like pulling yourself up, the water's dripping off of you. You feel like cool, you know? Oh, come now, Mrs. Dalfire, don't be bashful. Oh, no, dear, I think they've outlawed whaling. Oh. Re they've outlawed whaling. Oh, Dalfire, anything you need, just put on my oh, tab, okay? Thank you, dear. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drown you. Wow, they look like a family. Miranda Hillards. Miranda Hillard? Mm hmm. The woman I'm seeing. No. Seeing? Thanks, son. Oh, what about their real father? What can I say, Ron? The guy's a loser. I'll see you. The guy's a loser? Oh my god, get limed. Oh, get limed, son. Thank you, all right. But ladies and gentlemen, put your claws together. Oh, please welcome. He sees potential. It's time for the raptor rap. I'm a raptor doing. <laughs> okay, the raptors in Jurassic Park should have said this. Back, but I'm coming as oil. Okay. Playing, I don't think I, I was know. watching. That's funny stuff. I think kids would like it. They'd be entertaining, they get some information. Yes, exactly, thank you. Listen, I'd like to hear some more of your ideas. My ideas? <laughs> How about a dinner meeting? Oh, yes. Next Friday, Bridges Restaurant, Ooh. 7 o'clock sharp. Next Friday doesn't work, because you have the inspector person coming over, and you're also nannying till 7. So it's going to be a pretty tight constraint there. I made it myself. Well, I didn't make it myself. I cooked it, you know, I just like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay. The place is looking really cleaned up. 
you for knocking. Yeah. Okay, let's not disturb this beautiful looking spaghetti dinner. I haven't had dessert yet. You cooked? Yes. I cook, I bake, I sew. He's reforming. He's terrific. Come on, Rand, why not? She's the best thing that ever happened to us. The kid. Oh, and it's just him again. What's the occasion? It's my birthday. Oh. Stu's taking me out to dinner. Oh. And you don't want that, dear. You want to be Kilimanjaro on your first date. Inaccessible. Why, but. <laughs> the older sibling. An old. I wore that to my aunt's funeral in 1976. Well, a classic never died. Well, a first date and a funeral are the same thing. Well, he'll be there to protect me. I will. Stu has invited you and the children to join us. Ooh. No, I don't know. I can't go. When does this enchanted evening take place? Friday at 7. Friday night, 7 o'clock. Oh my days. Friday at 7. Bridges. Oh, it's gonna be a whole other faces on, face off, face on, face off scenario. It would mean so much to me and the children, wouldn't it? Please promise you'll come with us, Mrs. No. I'm sorry. Mr. Lundy is completely booked for the next two months. Two months? Could this be the moment where everything is unveiled? Well, about 25 minutes after the movie, I think things are going to get unveiled here to everyone. Smoking or non-smoking? Non-smoking. Smoking. Tanya will seat you. Table 15. This way, please. Ty, he's been here often. Ty, you don't smoke? No, I don't. But I did. Oh. Oh, my dear, and I found the best. Can't believe they're a restaurant, or I guess when was this made in the 90s? But restaurants where you would smoke in the restaurant? Ah, that'd be horrible. Back to you, man. Drop it. Oh, I'm very sorry, dear. It's my this is stressing me out. I just need him to go to that other meeting. That's a nice necklace. Thank you. Oh, oh my Did god. I miss yeah. Good thing they didn't do that. Then you could either wear that or feed a small country. That's so nice. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> I love the little riffs. Lovely dessert tray over there. Why don't you go over there and pick out what you'd like now so they could reserve it? He's like, leave the table. And a piece of her heart, eh? <laughs> Bit of a going down payment, huh? Going down payment? And dance, eh? Rumple Forsky. Baloney Bop. Of the old cunning linguistic. How long is this gonna go on? No, Jack Cameron. She could break sidewalk with that thing. <clears throat> she uses it in the lights dim. It's like a prison movie. Oh my god. Oh my god. The most insane costume change of all time. Jeez! <laughs> Double shivers on the rock. Double shivers on the rock. Bring him two doubles so he can catch up. Oh. That's my kind of guy. Gentlemen, start your engines. <laughs> hey, this is a good tactic. Just, I'm having what he's having. You know, you can relate on the drink front and then you go from there. That's kind of a good tactic, actually. <laughs> Come on, how are we doing? No, okay. No, no, no. Oh, yes. One more. Okay. One more. Well, you gotta personalize it. Make it fun and entertaining. If it's something you'd enjoy, they'd enjoy. Yeah, that's actually true. A lot of kids shows can be watched by adults and both parties will enjoy it. You know what I mean? Oh my god, she poured it. That's gonna be so smelly. All right, there we go. Thank you. Oh, let's see. I would have gone to the dinner and then left, changed into regular Daniel and then texted Oh, there's no texting. I forgot. I'll have the I would have pretended to leave and then tomorrow I'm been like, pepper. yeah, I'm having, I was sick or something, so I had to leave. <laughs> oh, my. oh my god. Oh, just shake them off like a dog. So oh. Oh, oh, he changes so fast. Well, you bet. I took the liberty of ordering you another <laughs> Another one? <laughs> hmm? Are you wearing ladies' perfume? Oh my god, he did put so much on, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta roll with it now. Girl I used to date. She's a waitress. Waitress? Yeah. Oh, smooth. <laughs> Ah, you die. That's bro talk right there. <laughs> That's so funny. Come on, go get him. 
<laughs> There's no business talk, it's just <laughs> get me a girlfriend. Oh my god. She has to be a little drunk. He has to be a little drunk. Oh my god, it's gonna be incredibly spicy. Oh. Oh yeah. my god. Wrong table, buddy. I'd like you to meet the host of your new show. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Oh, that hurt me to watch. I, that hurt me to watch. I don't know why. Oh, that's so overwhelming. Is he choking? Oh, he's choking. He's choking. The cayenne pepper was so strong that he's choking. Help, Help is on the way, dear! Run. Help is oh. on the way! Run! Run! Come on! Come on! Oh. She's breaking his back! Oh! oh. That worked! You alright, boy? <laughs> the mask! It's been revealed! Daddy? <laughs> She's like, why is Mrs. Doubtfire's face peeling off? Oh my god! The whole time, the, the whole time you would- The whole time! <laughs> Every emotion in the world right then. Sorry about the pepper. Yeah. <laughs> that feels like such a bad thing to do. Ever since my children were born, the moment I looked at them, I was crazy about them. Once yeah. They are his kids. And the idea of someone telling me I can't be with them, I can't see them every day, it's like someone saying I, I can't have air. Oh. And they just, they mean everything to me and they need me as much as I need them. Aww. Fool a lot of people into believing that you're a 60 year old woman. Yeah, pretty remarkable. To be a terrific performance by a very gifted actor, nothing more. No. Oh, you know, that does make sense. It is this court's decision to award full custody to Mrs. Hillard. Oh, God, no, sir, please. Oof. You Full custody. A court liaison will accompany you when you spend time with the children. Oh, that's so awkward. We will re-examine this case one year from now. Thank you. Court is adjourned. Miranda, come on. Do something about this. You have the power to do something about this. I don't do laundry. I don't do windows. I don't do carpet. I don't do bathtubs. An actual daddy. Washing. I don't do basements. I don't do dinners. I don't do re- Well, what do you do? She isn't real. We have to stop referring to her as if she were a real person. I know, I was doing that as well. Show today, we have Mr. Van Zant from the sea. She's on TV. The humans are playing your parts in movies. Oh, she did Planet of the Apes. Right. Okay. <laughs> 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 Planet of the Apes humans are playing your parts in movies. <laughs> Seems like he might have a second shot after all. Oh, do you know what language they speak in England? Pakistani. Pakistani. Angeles. Ooh. All with orchestra syndicate. Hollywood. Oh, yes. Daniel. Woo! <laughs> I really like the set. It's so cozy and warm. It's so hard. But I know somehow you and I will be all right. I knew there was going to be a but. I was angry. Oh. Look, you hurt me. Oh, too. you ripped oh, my heart out. Will you come back to do it again? I lied. Oh, let's not argue right now. She. She brought out the best in them. So let's bring Mrs. Doubtfire back. We don't need you, Daniel. We need Mrs. Doubtfire. What are you saying? Daniel, the kids need you. Yeah, they do. I need them. Oh! Come on, guys. Come on. Get up. Let's go. The new babysitter better just be flipping Daniel. Let's go. Ha <laughs> ha! Your dad's gonna take you for a few hours every day after school. Really? Oh, look how happy they are. Oh, wait outside. I didn't think they were going to get together, actually. Thank you. It was definitely more about the kids than this relationship. Two months ago, my mom and dad decided to separate. 
Oh. Is there anything I could do to get my parents back together? Sincerely, Katie McCormick. Oh, wow. And sometimes they get back together. And sometimes they don't, dear. Yeah, sometimes they don't. Just because they don't love each other anymore doesn't mean that they don't love you. Oh, it chills. Even years at a time. But if there's love, dear, those are the ties that bind. Oh. All my love to you, Puppet. You're going to be all right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, that was such a wholesome movie, guys. Oh, I really like that they didn't get back together at the end, actually. That's actually a really cool ending. I'll talk about that in my review. But yeah, wow. That was really nice. That was just nice to watch. And that was my reaction to Mrs. Doubtfire, the 1990, 1990, did I say 1990, the? <laughs> Am I from the Times? The, you know, <laughs> comedy drama movie starring Robin Williams, Sally Field, Matthew Lawrence, Lisa Jacob, Jacob, Jacob uh, sorry if I mispronounced that last name there, and Mara Wilson, as well as surprise appearance from Pierce Brosnan. I did not know that Pierce Brosnan was in this movie and when I saw him he had, they had just talked about James Bond too. Robin Williams had just made an impression of James Bond and then boom Pierce Brosnan appears and it was just ah, it was so funny obviously it was Sean Connery's James Bond because the original James Bond did but it was so fun if you haven't seen my James Bond reactions I watched every single James Bond on the channel so go check those out if you if you if you like I also just watched Pierce Brosnan and Mamma Mia which was also so much fun so check out that reaction too if you haven't seen it but yeah this movie was just incredibly heartwarming and fun. It felt like I was being wrapped in a nice warm blanket or sitting by a nice warm fireplace on a cold winter's night. You know what I mean? Like it just felt so warm and cozy. It was really fun. Robin Williams was just having a blast. It seemed there's so many riffs and jokes. There are so many jokes that I probably didn't laugh at some of the jokes because they either went over my head or there were just so many jokes I was laughing at another joke while a joke was being said. But the jokes were super well done, especially Robin Williams' comedy. Just the way that it wasn't a lot of slapsticky type humor, it was just a lot of verbal humor, like Robin Williams just saying things, and then sometimes situational comedy as well, especially between Mrs. Doubtfire and Daniel and those two personalities that Robin Williams had in this film and yeah I just thought that it was hilarious I'll go into a little into it a little bit but first uh, I didn't really really hear the score by Howard Shore I saw that he scored this movie and that he made the soundtrack for this movie and I was very excited but I honestly didn't really hear it that much like I wasn't paid paying attention too much to the music or the music never really wowed me I don't know which one is it because I mean this the movie could have a really great score like a really great soundtrack and I either missed it or the movie just has a fairly average soundtrack and I missed it because it's fairly average I don't know I, I, I feel like though because it's Howard Shore and I want to give him the benefit of the doubt I feel like it's gonna be a good soundtrack but I just missed it because Robin Williams was just so hilarious that I was focusing all my attention on him the entire time so sorry how I was sure that I did not really listen to the soundtrack or the background music and everything like that but maybe I'll give it another shot if people say that the soundtrack is good for this movie I'll give it another shot. I'll, I'll, I won't watch the movie. I mean, I'd like to watch the movie again, but I won't watch the movie for this soundtrack. I'll listen to the soundtrack on Apple Music or Spotify or something like that. I also wanted to say that Chris Columbus is a very good director. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like Chris Columbus, I'm just going to his name right now, which is why I'm looking away, but I feel like Chris Columbus, he's directed a lot of movies that are actually fairly famous, but people don't, I feel like people don't really give him that recognition, I guess, that a lot of other directors have had. Like, obviously he hasn't directed insane movies and as many movies as directors like Steven Spielberg or Martin Scorsese and stuff. Like, I don't think he's at that quite like huge category but for people in my generation and people maybe a decade older as well, like between 30 and 50, no, maybe not 15. Yeah, 30 to 18 years old, I would say. Chris Columbus has made a lot of very iconic movies, whether it's Home Alone, Home Alone 2, the first two Harry Potter movies, and now Mrs. Doubtfire. These are movies that everyone knows, especially Home Alone and Harry Potter, but I know a lot of people know about Mrs. Doubtfire as well. Like, he has directed a lot of really good movies, and I just feel like he hasn't got a lot of recognition 
for directing these movies. But the thing I was going to say is that a lot of his movies, or I mean, I know he directed the Percy Jackson uh, movie, The Lightning Thief, that live act. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll pretend that he didn't direct that one. But uh, the thing that I noticed about a lot of his movies is that it just feels very cozy. Like, if you look at the first Home Alone, it's funny, but it's cozy. If you look at the first Harry Potter, it's funny, but it's cozy. You know what I mean? It's magical. And even Mrs. Doubtfire had this very cozy, like, warm magic to it, kind of obviously exasperated by Robin. Exasperated? may not be the right word, but you know what I mean. You know, it was grown, obviously, and it was made big by Robin Williams because he's just such a lo lovable guy on screen. But you have to give some credit to Chris Columbus as well because it's something that you notice in many of his movies. So it's not something that is just solely on the actors or cinematographer and stuff. It also has something to do with him. And while he doesn't direct a movie in a style that is like, wow, like mind blowing and stuff like that, he directs a movie well enough where you can see Robin Williams acting and doing all of these different things just on screen and there's not that many cuts or anything he just lets kind of the actors and in this movie he lets Robin Williams just be Robin Williams be Mrs. Doubtfire on the screen and it's very entertaining Mrs. Doubtfire as a personality as well was so much fun I didn't know what to expect from uh, Robin Williams personality going into this I wasn't sure if Robin Williams was going to be a guy and then he was going to pretend to be a nanny or if he was just going to pretend to be a woman the entire movie but it was the first one he was a guy he was the father and he pretended to be Mrs. Doubtfire and it was just so much fun again so heartwarming how he wanted to be Mrs. Doubtfire so he could just stay close to his kids the entire time and I just found the humor with Mrs. Doubtfire just so much fun how she was British but not really British because her accent fluctuated all the time just all the shenanigans that she would get in or that he would get in I guess trying to take on and off all that makeup and outfit and stuff like that just between different scenarios just it brought a lot of humor and it was really really fun and I feel like I could talk a lot about Robin Williams' humor, but I also have no idea where to start because, I don't know, he was just so fun. It just feels so natural coming from him. It feels like he doesn't have a script and that he's not reading off of a script. When he's making jokes, it feels like they're just coming off of the top of his head. And I think that's what makes Robin Williams' humor so good is because it feels so natural. Lastly, I would like to say that I really liked that Daniel and Miranda did not actually end up together at the end of the movie. It was something that I didn't really expect in almost every single movie you would have the two uh, adult leads, I guess, the man and the woman getting together at the end of the movie, but in this one, they didn't. And then there was that whole speech about Mrs. Doubtfire saying that, you know, it's okay if your parents aren't together after a divorce. You know, some parents, some kids live with one parent, some kids live with two parents, some kids live with their uncles or their aunts or their grandparents and stuff like that. And it's okay. Everything will be okay in the end. And I really like that because I think this movie, the ending felt very realistic to me. Like, obviously, there are going to be scenarios where, you know, parents get back together and stuff but there's also going to be times where they don't and I think that it's really great for kids to watch this movie and to be able to relate to a scenario that doesn't happen often in movies and so yeah I think that's going to be the end of my reaction and review to Mrs. Doubtfire thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to these wonderful beautiful amazing people right here for supporting me and supporting my channel it really does mean a lot let me know if there's any other Robin Williams movies out there because I actually haven't seen that many Robin Williams movies, like Goodwill Hunting is a movie that I haven't really seen that I want to watch, you know what I mean? And, you know, some other movies as well. Just let me know if there's any great comedies with him or... I think Goodwill Hunting is actually like a fairly serious movie, but I'm pretty sure Robin Williams is in it as a more serious mentor role. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time for my next movie reaction.